There's only one race, and that is the human race. We've got to come together. Coming together in an effort to stop violence and catch the man suspected of shooting a Daytona Beach police officer. That man is Othel Wallace. And 24 hours after it's believed that he shot a 26-year-old officer in the head, he remains on the run. Tonight, he is the subject of a multi-state manhunt, an effort organized by hundreds of law enforcement officers from the local, state, and federal level. The officer who was wounded remains at Halifax Hospital tonight and at last check was in critical condition. West 2's Kelsey Thor joins us live from Daytona. Beach PD with the latest information. Yeah, Jim, so as you said, the search for Othel Wallace still continues. We're now over a day since that shooting happened. Police are not giving out any specifics. They say that's because they don't want to tip off Wallace on what they know or what they don't know. But what they did tell us earlier this afternoon was the identity of the officer who was shot. The officer's name is Officer Jason Rayner. That's R-A-Y-N-O-R. And he has been an officer with the Daytona Beach Police Department since February of 2019. Daytona Beach Police have identified the officer shot Wednesday night. Chief Jakari Young says the 26-year-old officer remains in serious condition in the hospital with his family by his side. I'm hopeful and I'm keeping the faith that he's going to pull through, but this was a senseless tragedy. The search for this man, 29-year-old Otho Wallace, continues. Police say Wallace shot the officer in the head after he approached Wallace about a suspicious vehicle. Hundreds of officers flooded Volusia County overnight, all to assist in the manhunt for Wallace. It's a family, it's a brotherhood. When one of us go down, it doesn't matter what, what the uniform is, it doesn't matter what the patch is, everybody's coming. At this time, Wallace remains on the run. Police believe he could be traveling in a gray Honda with a California license plate. Chief Young wouldn't give specifics on any leads the department has, but had this to say about the search. We got a lot of resources out there, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. Now, the chief did say that they are monitoring Wallace's social media. They say there has been some activity there that they are looking into. And again, just a reminder to everybody, there is still that $100,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest. This manhunt still very much active and on all across Central Florida, guys. For now, live out here in Daytona Beach, back to you. Tonight, Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood says an investigation into Otha Wallace has revealed a hatred for law enforcement. The sheriff says he thinks it was only a matter of time before he tried to kill a police officer. What we're discovering is any law enforcement officer that came in contact with this guy was going to get killed. When you listen to his manifestos and you see what he's, he's posting and, you're, and you see the hatred that he's putting out there toward police, we have to eradicate that. We cannot allow hatred to, to dominate our life, our life, and that's what this was motivated is. The sheriff says in the 24 hours since searching began, a flood of information has come in from the public. 